Hello, today I'm going to measure weight using the USB 2408 from Measurement Computing and the LCF 450 load cell from Futec. The load cell is rated to handle up to 250 pounds and to simulate a load I will use a clamp to squeeze it. For this load cell, the calibration information is listed here and states a maximum weight of 250 pounds and a sensitivity of 1.9027 millivolts per volt of excitation. To determine the maximum output signal, simply multiply the sensitivity times the excitation voltage. I will use these values a little later to scale the data to pounds. This load cell has six wires. Red and black are plus and minus DC power. Green and white are plus and minus signal output. And orange and blue are the sense lines. What the sense lines do is supply a feedback voltage to compensate for IR drops over long wire runs. For short wire runs, they are not needed and will not be used today. Connect the red lead to plus 5 and the black lead to ground. Now connect the signal wires. You may have noticed a couple slides back that the sensitivity was negative. I want a positive signal, so I will simply flip the wires so I connect the white wire to H and the green wire to L. Now begin with the software. Run the InstaCal program and add the USB 2408 to the setup. Next, set the sensor category to voltage. and the connection type to differential. Set the data rate to 60 Hz. This will act as a 60 Hz filter reducing noise. And close the InstaCal program. Start the TracerDAC Pro software and choose Strip Chart. If this is the first time running TracerDAC, it will default to four channels. Let's change that to one. Change the units to LBS for pounds, and then tab over to scaling. Here check the enable scaling option. Now I need to scale the output signal to pounds. To do this, take the sensitivity number and multiply it by the amount of excitation. I'm using 5 volts, so the maximum signal is 9.514 millivolts. Next, divide the maximum load by the maximum signal. This yields a scaling factor of 26277 pounds per volt. Or looking at it another way, it's 37.3 microvolts per pound. Enter 26277 in the multiplier box. Next, go back to the DAC hardware settings, select the device, and set the range to the lowest available. Channel 0 is automatically populated. Next, set the channel display lanes to 1. Set the units to pounds, the upper limit to 250, and the lower limit to 0. Reduce the sample rate to 10 per second. And enable the measurements window. Now start logging. I will tighten and loosen the clamp to simulate a load. Now stop logging. The measurement view displays the max, min, mean, and current value. Finally, save the data to a CSV file.
Now load that CSV file into Excel. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Visit our website www.mccdaq.com for more information about data acquisition devices and the software that controls them.